This is Subramaniam. I have a question for you, in fact. In the album, <laughs> did he just say, oh my god? I promise it's an easy one. Do you have a favorite in the track, in the album? No, I must say that um, I have many, but I think the one that Vishal has sung is actually my absolute favorite of the lot. The, uh, the first one. Yeah, actually, you know, sir, I cried. I was sitting on a shoot and I heard that song and I just like, a really wise person telling you everything will be fine. There's that quality to the song. It's so beautiful. Uh, also, Mr. Um, Mr. Mathur. I'm so sorry. Mr. Mathur, what would you like to say about the song? It's absolutely beautiful. Like I can imagine for someone like Clinton, right at the beginning, you make this beautiful album and you want it to completely reach people as you intended it. Um, and you've been a, great, a big part of that. First of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the team of Jumni to uh, go for Dolby Atmos. I'm sure it's been a great tool for the for the creative team to actually use the format and, and make the songs realistic and immersive and what we just experienced a few minutes back. Uh, so I'm sure the track looks fantastic. I mean, we've seen all, all the songs in, in Dolby Atmos. They, they, I'm sure, look even better and sound even better. And uh, hopefully, 22nd January, when the film opens, I mean, we get more people in the Dolby Atmos screens watching this. Watching absolutely, the absolutely. We pray for that. Uh, we'd like to open the evening to question and answers from the press and we'll pass some mics around. Hello. Uh, here. Rehman, sir. There, sir. Uh, so I'm sure you would be offered hundreds of projects uh, every year. Uh, why Jubni? What made you uh, say yes for this project? So... Shifaliji has uh, the stories about uh, rural stories about Sufis, about music, and she's got that sensibility. And she told me a couple of stories. And then, of course, my production company's executive producer is Karan, so he <laughs> pulled me in. <laughs> so, and these, uh, this, this is a song which uh, I was doing with my spiritual teacher. So we do a lot of songs for just personal listening. And he said, I need one of those songs. So Kashit Sam has written the lyrics and the music for this one, and so I said, okay, fine. Uh, so you also said that you're a big fan of uh, Mr. Vishal Bharadwaj's movie. Uh, if you had to pick any one movie of his that you have really liked and any of his tracks that you enjoyed? I've seen uh, Omkara like, properly. So usually I'm always in fast forward mode and, and I watch it. I don't have patience. <laughs> But I won't I watched it fully. I really love the art of how he's directed it, the music and all the whole thing. Oh, Thank she you. watches is my <laughs> and uh, watches came along back with the music. Uh, okay. Shivaji on your left. Uh, congratulations for the album launch. The both of these songs are melodies. Uh, my question to you is: Being this film a musical, don't you think that there will be uh, similarities between compared? This movie will be compared to Ashki Two or Abhiman. So, if if yes, then how would you describe the differences between all these movies? Um, you'll have to see the movie to see the differences. But um, it's in it's in a very very real space of like Suganta said, a music producer going into a village. So it's a story of two worlds, two very different worlds, which you see in a very real gritty manner. And so the music is also, you know, the completely raw and the completely processed and the completely beautiful sounds in the middle of those two as well that you're going to see. So there, there are no, there are no, every film is something that stands on its own legs. And I hope that uh, this uh, will too. And I'm pretty certain that it will actually. <laughs> uh, Vishal sir, Vishal sir and uh, Rahman sir, my question to you is, sir, this movie uh, protagonist goes to, you know, uh, in the interiors of India to find a true talent. So uh, talking about both of you that you are, uh, you are associated with the music industry, uh, did you ever find, what do you want to say about the hidden talent of India uh, pertaining to the music? What do you want to say about it, sir? Yeah, I think we have a lot of talent in the country and now when we see on the, in the reality shows, you know, you, you come across so many talented singers and so many singers have actually come, Shreya Ghoshal is one of them. So uh, I think we have a lot of talent and especially talent in the, you know, the, the inner side of the country. Interior. And let me say about something about the film because when I met Shefali when she came to me and Clinton introduced me to her. And when I first watched the film, it was such a beautiful experience because it's a very, very honest film. And a lovely performance by Sugandha, and the music is extraordinary. And Clinton, uh, I, at first I couldn't believe that it's uh, done by Clinton. 
because the compositions are so earthy. You can actually smell the soil. It's it's so so rooted. The composition. I think I would like to add to that. So a musician um, comes with his influences and then he evolves, and you can see that in children how he's changed from his sensibilities. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, the Clayton we knew, you know, he is one of the finest musicians I have ever come across, and I have worked. Actually, my sound of my music changed from Omkara, and the reason is Clayton. And uh, yeah, otherwise, you know, uh, I was just uh, I was just hanging in the air. He gave me the ground. He gave me the ground. He is such a fine musician, and this time he surprised me with his composition. I mean, that Dug Dugi Dog and that Kavali, it's, it's like beautiful compositions. Shafali has come. Uh, she has struggled a lot to release this film. My congratulations, and I am feeling so happy that this film is releasing finally. And uh, thanks to Shridhar for you know taking the music, and I hope you promote it well. Clinton, आप से एक सवाल है. Oh yeah. Uh, what has inspired you to uh, do this album? Any uniqueness or specific reason for doing this? Well, like I said, uh, I think I took it as a challenge because uh, for me, it was uh, completely out of my comfort zone. I would say, uh, you know, uh, uh, with I, I I had done Coke Studio before that, and with Coke Studio, I had done a lot of you know, I mean, Indian music and stuff like that. But it was still a very blank canvas. This was very specific because there were scenes that I had to work with and. I had to actually um, write music to a brief, you know, and also write in that style and make it seem authentic and make it seem like you know, like it belonged. So for me, I think uh, taking up the challenge was uh, not not easy for me personally, but I I think I you know I'm very very happy with the results and also the singers that have contributed to the album have just made it so uh, you know taken it to another level each and every song. So for me. My job was made a lot easier that way. Rehman sir, आपसे एक सवाल है. It was mentioned over here कि सूफियाना कलाम लिखा है, as well as the lyrics and music is been given given by Kashif Sam. So tell us something about your track in the film. As I said, this is done for our own spiritual satisfaction. It's my spiritual teacher, Kashif Sam, and we started recording private songs for the past ten years. And so you, which nobody. He wrote the lyrics for Fatima and Fatima also. Yeah. So when he heard it, Karan heard it, he, he wanted the track. He said, "I need, I need a track for that." And uh, so I couldn't refuse. This is probably the first time I've sung one of the tracks which I've sung for somebody else. Right. No, I, 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 I wasn't the composer of Rehman's uh, track. Uh, Mr. Rehman sang for uh, Mr. Rehman's track was composed by Kashif Sab, uh, but uh, Vishal ji sang on my track, and actually this is the first time. Uh, I mean, uh, he sung for any other composer than uh, other than himself. So for me, it's like the two. The like risk was his. <laughs> 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 he was taking the risk. No, but absolutely, it was like beyond a blessing and honor. And I mean, to have uh, AR also uh, to have a song on on this album that I've done is like I mean, for me, it's special significance because both these men have influenced my career in more ways. Like I said, more ways than one can imagine. I actually like that whole guitar of second track which you played. It was really hair raising. And of course, which one is it? I'm not listening to the whole song track yet. I'm going to listen to it now. Because it took a long time to put it together. And now that we are coming to asking you about picking a favorite track, I'm guessing that's a very difficult thing to do. Uh, this marks the end of the Q&A. And it's a huge, huge love and truckloads of joy.